Hello guys, welcome back to Monet Loves Glam. I hope that you all are having a beautiful day. So guys, I am showing you all this pillow right here. I hauled this pillow a while ago from Home Goods and I showed it in one of my home decor hauls. And this pillow right here gave me so much inspiration to see if I could make a Z Gallery wall art DIY. I really love those colors. It's the mint green, the light cream color, and some gold and silver beading. So I decided to go ahead and try my hand at it. If you're interested in seeing what I came up with, then just keep on watching. All right, guys, so here what I have done, I have taken a canvas that I purchased, I believe, at Michael's. They were 50% uh, off, I think. So, guys, wait till they have those sales um, to purchase items like this. You will get a really good deal. So, what I did was I spray painted the canvas. Instead of using acrylic paint and dealing with brush strokes and things like that, I decided to go ahead and use spray paint. So, I am just showing you the paint that I used. Um, I used that ocean mist color from the, for the bottom and then this ivory bisque for the top. And I just went ahead and kind of eyeballed it and sprayed it evenly on the bottom and on the top of the colors that I wanted. And guys, you can do whatever colors, you know, fit your decor scheme or what you want to do. And I wouldn't worry too much about keeping it, them even because you're gonna put some decorative designs in the middle where they meet anyway. So what I did was I am showing you some resin. I use this resin here when I made my coasters. I'll put that video link up top so you can see how I made those coasters. But basically you just mix equal parts of part A and part B. I did two ounces of A and B, but that was a little too much. So I would recommend only doing about one ounce for each part. And then you just wanna go ahead and mix your resin really, really well. And guys, I am using resin because I want a more permanent hold, but I'm pretty sure you could use maybe um, some type of Mod Podge or other, some type of other craft glue. So I am just going ahead and pouring that resin right in the middle where those two colors meet. And then just make sure you don't go all the way to the end because you don't want it to run off the sides. So I kind of started a little bit um, up front and then just kind of slowly poured the resin down the middle. Then I went ahead and took this popsicle stick and I basically just spread the resin in a zigzag motion all the way across. I think I lost most of the footage for this but you will see in the next clip coming up what your outcome should look like. So guys, I hope you can see, it's kind of clear, but I hope you can see that zigzag pattern that I made with the resin, just using the popsicle stick. The next thing I'm gonna do is just gonna go ahead and spread my crushed glass right there where I laid that resin and just make sure you get everything covered and it may be a good idea to put a lot in over cover because remember some of this uh, is going to fall out because it's all not going to stick so go ahead and cover as much as you can with your crushed glass and then after the crushed glass I went ahead and sprinkled some gold glitter right there on top of the crushed glass. Some of my glitter, cause the wind was blowing really hard. So some of it got into the white part, but that's okay. Cause it actually added um, a little uniqueness to the painting. So here you go guys. This is what it is looking like as soon as it is done. I went ahead and let this dry for about 24 hours because you want to make sure that resin is really, really dry. 
And after I let it dry, I just kind of took it to an area and flipped it and made sure that I got all of the fallout off of it and just kind of swept that up. And that crushed glass, guys, you can use it again. So I put it back into the jar, everything that fell out. So this is what the final painting looked like. I think it turned out so well. It has such a professional look to it. It matches those pillows that I showed you early in the video so well. And guys, I am showing you this right here because the room that I will put this in is like a TV room with no windows. So it is kind of dark in there. So I wanted to show you the finished product in a very well lit area. So this is what it looks like. I think that it turned out so beautiful. And look at this shot next to it, next to those pillows. I think it matches up so well and I am so excited to decorate it. And just another little close up of what it looks like in comparison to those pillows with the beading and the crushed glass and the glitter with the colors. Guys, leave me some comments in the comment section of what you all like to do in your pastime. I am really loving this art hobby right now. And guys, all of this can be done on a budget. I hope that you like this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your family and friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.